Hey everyone, we've got some thrilling new leaks about GT6 today. First up, we are getting an intense prologue featuring a young Lucia escaping a cartel ambush in Cuba, setting the stage for her story. Also, Take-Two's financial data reveals the massive investment behind GT6 with millions spent on development over the past few years. Plus, speculation is rife about whether GT6 Online will launch alongside the main game or come later, given its past success. Get ready for a groundbreaking experience, subscribe if you want me to give away multiple GT6 copies on the release date. Thank you and let's go! So here we are starting off with, would you like this possible prologue in GT6, would it be innovative? Prologue with Kid Lucia escaping a cartel ambush in Cuba. This prologue could start with a cinematic showing Lucia as a child in Cuba, perhaps living with her family in a small town. The player would control Kid Lucia during a moment of crisis, like a cartel ambush on her family's home or while they are on the run. Gameplay mechanics could be simplified to fit the narrative of a child in distress with basic styles and evasion mechanics as Lucia tries to survive. The prologue could end with Lucia narrowly escaping the danger, perhaps with the help of family friend or mentor, and boarding a small Cuban plane headed for Leonida, the fictionalized Florida. Next up, we are yet to hear from Rockstar about the release window. We are yet to hear directly from Rockstar about the fall 2025 release window. Wouldn't it be great if on May 23rd, the date Bonnie and Clyde died, or some point the next year, alongside confirmation the release window, they release screenshots and maybe, uh, though it seems early, the cover art. Trailer 2 will pre probably release around the GTA Online Summer update, in my own opinion and from Delta GTA 6 post on Bonnie and Clyde Das date. Stop making lucid dreams, screenshots this summer, trailer 2 this fall. Fall works best because Christmas is close to it, trailer 2 will probably probably be around later fall of this year. My wife's boyfriend works for Rockstar and my wife's son told me that we will get a release date in two weeks. Also the water is fully dynamic and there are roughly 53 scenes. So yeah, some people still making jokes. All these suggestions. Next up we are going for Lucia artwork, as here we can see. Now that we know the release window of the game, I wanted to try something out with Mid Journey and a Photoshop. Hope you enjoy it and uh, I'm very happy of how it turned out. Now I don't know how to name this an artwork if it was made with an AI, but still it's great. I would consider it being great anyways, even if it's AI. Because as you can see in my thumbnails, they're still made with AI and they look perfect. Game coast and death time lengths. We keep seeing a lot of IAVA about the lengths of GT6 development and the budget numbers thrown around due to the misinformation or sheer lack of clear info by the media when a lot of the info is public. Below is the way to check the link of Rockstar UK Finances alone. So you can google Rockstar UK Finances and it will lead you to this. Find an update company information service gov uk company so if you want to check it out you can go and check it out by yourself in short rockstar uk spent on employment costs 2021 uh, 280 million dollars 1320 stuff 2022 433 plus millions uh, 1461 staff uh, 2023 416 million uh, and 1554 stuff. You can see the ramp up in personnel and expenses most likely due to the GTA 6 production coming to a peak plus need to release the trailer we got. So in 3 years they spent around a billion and 129 million in wages of the UK studio staff. Now consider Rockstar has 8 more studios, 4000 developers total studios, all working in different stuff but it's been pretty public that their latest games, Red Dead Redemption 2 and now GT6 are now a multi-studio effort. With that said, the 2 billion dollars budget numbers throwing around looks ludicrous on paper but makes sense considering the money the franchise has proven to be able to generate. So let the devs cook and a AAA game dev costs increased a lot since GTA 5 released. 
No way they are paying 270k per plus per employee. And I don't know about that one. How do you come with that number? Employee cost divided by staff. I think that's what they did and that's a wildly incorrect number. They have a bunch of different studios to pay for and a ton of other expenses. Maybe before taxes, I don't know how it is in the UK, but there might be more things in this number than just the money the employees get in on their bank. They could pay them train, bus, tickets or car or gym. Maybe some got 100k others got 500k in germany the employer has to pay half of the cost of an employment health care and pension insurances and all of the work related accidents insurances royalties out of that 316 million of wages in fiscal year 2023 they probably spent around like 60 to 65 million on salaries for regular employees the rest is likely going out as royalties to several high-ranking people like dan hauser yes he left but he's likely still getting his stuff from gt5 and red redemption 2. it also makes sense to not give him some super salary but make it a performance incentive so with the remaining 250 million i wouldn't be surprised if it was split by like 20 20, 30 people. Next up we go for Take 2's budgets, looks like the GT6 uh, development is still very heavy in fiscal year 2025 and we wouldn't see full-scale commercials and advertising until the beginning of fiscal year 26. As here we can see the fiscal year 2025, software development and licensing uh, 333, I guess it's millions, I don't know about that one, uh, or maybe it's like exactly dollars, marketing 32.4, purchase obligations 146 and total is 511. So I feel like maybe it is actually millions. As here we can see the 2026 uh, and the rest of the year is still unknown as of now. Trailer 2 in November, December 2024 and then everything else around 5 months before and until the game releases. Rockstar's marketing won't kick into full gear until trailer 3. Next up, do you think some of the Wickles uh, will have limited auto drive? Since Wickles have come a long way since 2013 and by now new cars have all sorts of gimmicks that take over some functions like auto braking or something. Do you think some, but not all, obviously old cars won't have that? Wickles uh, may allow you to use sad features. Saints Row had cruise controls on its cars in 2006, so at least a primitive form of sad features has some background in video games. So where is Congressman Shrub? I wonder if we see the possibility of bringing the now possibly former congressman Alex Shrub to HD Universe via GTA 6. He was a very interesting character in the original Vice City, maybe at this point he could have been landed a senator for a long time seeking to get elected as US president with shady tactics. If it happens, maybe there uh, could happen a mission where either Jason or Lucius is sent to finally assassinate Shrub once and for all. Also we might see the return of Candy Sucks soon Ali Mao. So all I'm going to say you one big sink that we are not going to see them in HD universe and uh, from any 2D to 3D universe we're not getting any characters in the next GTA games because these are completely different universes. Maybe it will be someone similar but not exactly this guy and Candy Sucks of course I don't know about her but all I know that we already discussed it before and it was something related to GTA 6 as she was uh, like uh, as she as she was making concerts about GTA stuff and also some news about that I, if I remember so maybe this uh, character actually going to be in GTA 6. And the next one, GTA 6 Online at release. Hey y'all, super stoked on the release for GTA 6. However, one thing has me wondering, will GTA 6 Online be included at launch? Historically, Rockstar has released the online component a month or two after the main game. As seen with GTA 5 and Red Redemption 2, but given the massive success and evolution of GTA Online, it's hard to believe they would delay it this time around. What do you think, will we get the GTA 6 online right from the start or will Rockstar follow their usual patterns? Delaying a month or two does nothing to hurt sales and allows them to have time to get things ready after the stress of the game's launch day. If anything, it gives the game the spotlight for longer as everyone will grind story for one two months and then jump over to online after that. 
Interesting, I think it has the potential to affect sales if enough video games articles come out with the average doomer. GT6 reportedly not having online at launch. Headline after they really went all in on online for a fight and said fuck it to all the single player content lol lol. Fingers crossed they have single player DLC at any point for this game, the online being released later. Instantly I'm a little indifferent to because either way I'm gonna be fully engaged in that story mode for a while. And I guess it's sort of double aged sort and they regarded the roleplay 5M attracted plus capped so many players as a whole that is in some regard I could understand how they would be pressed that it's not shipping out on the same time. Not that I would feel that way but as sort of some other father perspective and at the end of the day GT5 Online was Rockstar's cash cow so I could see them switching up the release a bit to please everyone. They've done this twice now and clearly think it's the way to go. The percentage of people who wouldn't buy GT6 at launch because it doesn't have online will be such a small amount. I don't think you understand how much people want to play GTA 6. No one is waiting two months because online isn't there. And even if the small amount of people do, they still buy it in the end, so it was completely pointless. So that's kind of all the information we got for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one and peace.